Alex Krisnicki broke his ankle on Friday night. In pain, he lay in his front yard for four hours before an ambulance arrived. It felt forever, just because of all the pain that I was obviously having. So I was just laying there. Uh, luckily, my family got some blankets for me and put a pillow under my head, so I wasn't cold, but the pain was very immense. The ambulance union says a paramedic shortage and a worsening ramping problem is to blame. At half past four yesterday afternoon, nine of the 18 ambulances in the state south were ramped at the Royal Hobart Hospital. Another nine were on jobs. The union says that left no ambulances available to respond to an emergency. It was an unsafe time for all Tasmanians uh, and just shows how dire our health system is. Just as I say, we're uh, continuing to employ more paramedics, to build more facilities, to deliver better health care right around Tasmania. The health department says demand for ambulances increases during the summer holiday period and it's working on a new policy to let paramedics hand over their patients to hospital staff within an hour of arriving. But doctors say that can only work if emergency beds aren't already full. The simple challenge you have at the moment is that when there is no capacity to accept those patients, effectively you're transferring that risk from the ambulance service to the public hospitals to how you provide that care. Unions and health stakeholders say emergency department congestion is a complex issue to solve. They're calling for a funding injection to deliver better GP availability and ensure less urgent patients can get care outside of hospitals. Let's have an honest conversation about if we're going to fund it and if we're not going to fund it, let's tell the public what the public health system is not going to fund or what you're going to have to self-fund. They say better collaboration will cut wait times for patients like Mr Krasnicki. Adam Langenberg, ABC News.